Alright, what's up guys? So, I've already made a tutorial for the SEGA device and for the wooden keyboard, but now y'all want to know what's the best graphic settings, okay? So, let me just walk you through this. The monitor that I have is an Odyssey Samsung. It's 27 inches, 360 hertz, okay? And what I did, this is pretty much all I did, you just go to settings, and then you can go to your display, okay? And I have two displays, but um, you just scroll down, advanced, and then you choose your refresh rate, okay? And this is for display one, and for my main one, which is my Odyssey G6 OSD, okay? I have 360 hertz, okay? So that's pretty much all I did for my uh, monitor settings, and then obviously use your native resolution, don't change that. But if we actually head into Geometry Dash, okay, now that we're inside Geometry Dash, we can go ahead and go to the settings, help, enable low detail mode, okay? A lot of people don't know this is here. Um, yep, yeah, click this button, okay? That's a different load detail mode, okay? Go to graphics. I have it set to auto, okay? Low, medium, high, it doesn't matter, really. These really don't do anything. Low, this just makes it look like garbage. Medium, this is fine. I have it set to high because it's on auto, but it really doesn't do anything, I promise you. Um, so if you, um, if you don't care about your graphics quality, then you can set it to medium but I wouldn't go to low, it's just atrocious. Um, anyway, okay, we can go to advanced, turn off smooth fix, turn off V-Sync. You can show your FPS, but I show it in Mega Hack, uh, and also unlock your FPS. And I have it set to 480, you can set it to 360, 240, 720, whatever you want. Okay, that's all it. And make sure you have full screen, because that's the best reaction time. Okay, we can go over to performance, Enable low detail, enable extra LDM, okay? You can in increase the draw capacity, okay? This will help you on PC. This will not help you on mobile because it'll just make it slower. I don't because this um, decreases graphics and I think it makes my cube look weird. And I'm playing every end right now, so I don't like it. But if you don't care, then just press that button and um, it will increase your... Uh, or decrease your input delay, okay? And then you can disable shader and aliasing, okay? And that's pretty much it for inside geometry dash, okay? If you have mega hack, go ahead and press tab. And I have all these cosmetic options. No particles, no portal lightning, no pulse, no respawn flash, no shaders, no shake, no trail, no wave pulse, solid wave trail, and stop triggers on death, okay? Now, there's another thing that a lot of people don't know that actually lags it a little bit is show hitboxes on death, okay? And then obviously the show hitbox drill. Um, whenever you press hitboxes, then um, in game, then if you turn off this hitbox trail, then it's just going to show that. Obviously, making more red is going to make it lag a little bit. It just decreases the response time by a little bit, but not by much. And then the show hitboxes on death, um, a lot of people don't know that actually lags a little, you a little bit, but it does. So um, if you want, you can turn that off. I have it on right now because I like to see what I die to. And I think that's more necessary than um, a couple frames of input delay, not even a frame. But yep, you can copy my settings here and that's it. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope this was useful to you. Uh, these are the best, most optimal settings for Geometry Dash and for my monitor. Um, and if you would, subscribe to the channel. I upload tutorials. I upload Geometry Dash related content. Go check it out. If you like it, subscribing is free. And it helps out a ton. And um, you're helping me fulfill my dream. So thank you so much. And uh, thank you for watching.